hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another vlog so um um words are not coming if you are new to this channel feel most welcomed my name is shelvin and uh, welcome to this channel on this channel we do everything that is mainly concerned with home cooking cleaning washing name it hauls lifestyle vlogs here yeah. so guys uh i want to go do grocery haul uh we've run out of uh some few stuff in the house that is from onions tomatoes potatoes veggies name it and uh i've been buying uh some onions and uh tomatoes from the vibanda that is for the first two weeks because i had to organize myself so that i can go do the grocery shopping and uh, it is too much so i just want to i'm used to buying bulk ones then i just throw in my fridge so i want to go um buy a few stuff from the market then uh yeah when i come back i'll do the whole review guys i just hope that prices have dropped even if it's just kidogo especially for waru that is potatoes yeah and uh tomatoes so let's go check it out i think I don't know i'm not sure if i'll be able to vlog in the market it's kind of tricky i don't want to lose my phone i don't want to lose my phone so yeah let me see you when uh, i get back yeah so guys i don't know if i'm the only one but i think it's much more easier when uh, if you're going to the market and you're a lady you just carry like, a small bag where you you put your money you put your your phone yeah and maybe some a few things that we as ladies need so in that bag i have a pen i have a paper that that is uh where i have written all the things i'm going to buy from the market then in that red bag i have all my um bags yeah that i will use to carry all the stuff from the market i don't buy those bags like all the time once i come back with them i wash them or wipe and i keep them so that way i save a lot yeah So lately i've been really like enjoying myself time like my own time because uh, my girl is at school and uh, like things like going to the market has become even more easier because so i could have been carrying her so you go to the market you've carried everything from cabbage to to potatoes and everything and they're heavy then you carry her it used to be like a lot at a times i i it was a struggle yeah and be, it's because again i didn't have any other place to leave her so i just go with her yeah so he had already arrived uh, at the market and uh yeah let's check out a few things that we need to get then we go back home <music> I'm back from the market and uh, where i'm so tired i'm so exhausted so i want to show the stuff i got from the market and we'll start 
these that are here here i have some veggies uh yeah these ones these are saga kisses call them saga yeah these are saga so you can imagine these are a hundred bob so packed like these i told her to cut off the the roots so these are 20 these are also 20 so you pick three three at 20 shillings so these were 100 bob then i have here I don't know if these are the managu. Yeah. In our language, that is in Luo, we call this osuga. Osuga. Yes. So, these were also 100 bob. The good thing with these is that they have big leaves. So, that's why you can think at Inimingi. So, these were also 100 shillings. And uh, I have here... I have here the pumpkin leaves. I have here pumpkin leaves. Uh, pumpkin leaves I bought. Uh, these ones costed uh, 60. Yeah, 60. 60. So the woman that was selling this was saying that right now pumpkin leaves have dried up in the farm. So on normal days, they pack like this. 3 at 20. But since now there is somehow drought, uh, Ikifungwa, if you want this, one is 10, one is 5 bob. So if you pick 3, that is 15 bob. Yeah, so I got for 60, 60 shillings. Yeah, those are 60 or 50. Then here, I have Mrenda. Uh, Mrenda. So when there are 3 like these are 20, what I hate with this Miranda is the work of having to remove the leaves one by one. I really don't like this, but no choice. So these were, let me count. One, two, three, three, three. Yeah, these are 60 and these are 60. So these are all the veggies you see here. This is in Imboga. This mom, there's no eating... Uh, Akuna kukula nini? Akuna kukula nyama. Yeah. So those are veggies. So, uh, let's go to... Let me start with this part. So in here, I have, I have cabbage. As small as it, as it looks like me on an indogo. This is 60 bob. Yeah. I was selling this at 60. Then I got some mangoes that I'll use to make for my family some juice. So these ones, one went for 20. One was 20 shillings. And uh, they are really juicy, as you can see. Sana. So I got uh, I got five. I do want to get more because they are they are all ripe. So maybe Ziki shall get some. Then I got peas. Peas. This is one kg. One kg at ninety bob. There are really many. So I have the work to sort all these out. Then I got maize. This is 120, you guys. 120. So there is a kasuku they use, a katin they use to to pima for you this, and this went for 120. I do want to go through the hassle of having to to undo the the, the full the full grain. So I preferred buying this, and this is 120. So let me pull them there. Then I bought uh, here. I have some. Uh, I have some maize. No beans. Sorry, I have some beans. 
these I hope they're seen so 1 kg this is they call them Roscoco Roscoco yeah these are Roscoco yeah these are Roscoco so I got 1 kg at um uh, at 180 bob so this is 2 kg yeah this is 2 kg and I have sweet potatoes and you guys this is a hundred bob to me that is too much this is a hundred bob but now hakuna option the ones that went for 50 bob were so small then I also got some carrots carrots these are the cheapest things I got so these were just 20 bob. They were packed. Zilikuwa zimepangwa at um, 10, 10. So these are 20. Then here. In here I have some wadu. Potatoes. So potatoes are still expensive. I didn't I didn't even expect ni patas bay but they are still expensive. You can imagine this is oh uh, this is 360 180 180 that ka kasuku 180 180 so this is 360 hey yo so the second that's the the third bag the first had veggies so First, the second, this is the third. The third bag here, I bought some conjet. Conjet. So one is 10 bob. So I got three. Oops. I do usually don't buy much conjet. Then I got this popo. That, like a small one because my baby doesn't love popo. So this was 50 bob. 50 shillings. Nah. Is not right well so i'll put it for maybe two days and it will be okay then in this net i have here i have here broccoli broccoli so this was 50 50 shillings then i have some lemons lemons they sold three at 20 so these are 40 40 shillings then uh, the red and yellow capsicum were really not good in the market today so you can see this one i really tried tried kuchagua but yeah I'll, i think i'll get some from the supermarket i had for i usually buy from the supermarket i had forgot to buy when i was doing the my shopping but I think I'll get more from the supermarket. So this was 30 and this is 40. Then I stumbled upon rosemary. I really love rosemary. Rosemary, rosemary. So uh, tied like this, they're dropping. Tied like this. So this is 20 shillings. 20 shillings, they're like one, two, three, four, five, five uh, stems, yeah. So this is 20 shillings, which is affordable to me. And it is not easy to get rosemary on this side. So something else is I got these bananas. They were selling five for each. So they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven at 50. Yeah, these are 50 shillings. And I bought melon. This is like one of my daughter's favorite fruits. So anytime I go to the market, I never miss. The good thing with the market on this side, they'll always cut like a small piece they give you to taste. Then you get to pick the one you want. Kamanitamu. Yeah, so this is a hundred shillings. Hundred shillings. It is it is so sweet. It is so juicy. So in here I also have some tomatoes. 
I have some tomatoes. Yeah, these are 300 bob, 300 shillings. So this size you get to pick a uh, four at 20, four at 20, and these are 300 shillings. They are also three at 20 and also, yeah, yeah, three at 20. So something else in the bag is plus these ones, these are tomatoes plus these are 320. Then I have here some onions. So two kg, this is two kg. One kg goes for 70 shillings. So this is two kg, that is 140. I hope this will be able to take me through the month. Yeah, I, I use a lot of onions. Yeah, those are onions. Um, let me put them. Let me put this here. Let me start this first to get some space. Uh, lastly, lastly, uh, these are apples. One went for 25 bob. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six by 25. I guess that is 150. Yeah, so these are 150. Uh, the only thing I forgot to pick from the market are uh, I wanted some malenge. That is pumpkin. I usually take tea. The way I'm trying to, oops, I'm trying to quit wheat. So I'm trying my best to take tea with uh, those healthy, healthy, healthy foods. <clears throat> so I wasn't able to, <clears throat> I forgot, not I wasn't able, I forgot to buy uh, the, the what? I forgot uh, to buy uh, the pumpkins, but at least I have the sweet potatoes. I will <clears throat> start with those. So, buying grocery is not bad, but again, now you'll have to go through the hassle of like uh, filling this all off, then, yeah, washing all these. So, I want to like sort out the veggies, yes. I get to boil the ones I'm supposed to boil. Yeah. And these ones I will also wash with you guys. Yeah, so that's it for my grocery of this month. This is enough for us to go through the month. Especially when I have lots of veggies like this. I don't have to go through the stress of going to the Kibanda all the time. What the, the type of veg I forgot to buy is Kumawiki. I forgot to buy sukumawiki uh with a uh, spinach but maybe if i get to pass through going town i will consider i will consider buying buying some yeah guys so that's it So guys by this time it was uh, around uh it was around four yeah four after doing the whole i decided to take a rest for a while because i was tired so i came back to wash um the groceries and because i don't like leaving them uh, that way until maybe the next day you know and that is number one because there are a lot of fruit fried fruit fries 
fruit flies yeah fruit flies around uh, from our balcony so i just uh, like washing washing everything and keeping the kitchen neat so i'm going to wash the fruits i'm going to wash the tomatoes and i'm going to use uh, vinegar just the way i normally do yeah yeah So guys, let me take this opportunity to, uh, to welcome all the new subscribers. If you're a new member to this beautiful family, karibu, karibu sana, feel most welcomed. And I hope you enjoy the kind of content I do. So kindly subscribe if you haven't. And if you have subscribed, I really do appreciate you. Yeah, so I had already finished and it was time to make dinner. And for dinner, we were going to have uh, some omena, that is sardines, wet fry. Yeah, so it is so simple. I started by warming some water, then I washed them. Remember, this is not fried omena. This is just dry omena. If you don't know, there is a difference. There is omena that is usually sold when it's already fried. That is just dipped into oil when it's wet. Then there is just the dry one. It is just uh, dried from the sun. Yeah, so... I normally wash mine first before like um starting to fry it that is to disable uh the the soreness at a times in a kua kali if you don't wash it so the first step is to wash it with some warm water ensure it's clean then you put it on your pan to like dry up yeah so that's what we are going to have for dinner with uh some mrenda So most people like I've come across a few people that I know when you, they say that the when every time they try to make omena it get burnt 
and uh, that way it becomes so bad. So uh, what you need to know is that when you are cooking omena, especially the wet fry omena, you need to use low heat. Like if you put like much heat, it will end up getting burnt and that is not good. So you just need to put low heat. So right here I have already uh, like washed it, dried it. Then I added some oil and the next step I added some onions. So you'll fry them just for a while and they will start turning brown don't let them burn so after that you'll add in your tomatoes i'm not going to use uh, like any spices or anything yeah so you'll see that step by step and on the other pot i'm making merenda i had boiled it that i did off camera so boiling merenda uh you just use uh, some baking powder you put in uh, some water not much just kidogo then you add to the to the veg you let it boil for a while as you stir stirring helps in to like soften it for it to be like um uh what do i say to be smooth the way it usually is yeah <laughs> guys you can just see the turnout like if you follow the steps it will turn out really good and remember there are romena sold that zikiwa kali so also buying romena you need to check what you buy get the clean one get the right one yeah so you can see how it turned out it was yummy i can assure you it was really yummy trust you me yeah so guys that um is it for this video i really do appreciate you all for being here yes and that was our dinner uh thank you so much to my premier gang i love you i love you guys now and uh thank you so much for always keeping me company here yeah that was our dinner tell me what you think about it in the comment section and uh we talk more there thank you and let's meet on the next video goodbye <music>